Hi, my name is Jerry from jerryph.com and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the very first things that you should be doing the moment that you have received your new control TL units. This goes equally for the Flex TT5 as well as the Mini TT1 and that is making sure that you have the latest firmware. Now what I found is that the beta software or the beta version of the firmware is a little bit less problematic than the latest full releases that they have and it's usually to your advantage to do the upgrade. So to make sure that you have the ability to download the latest beta firmware, click on the button here, you click on the firmware updates tab and you make sure that you selected, yes I would like to have access to the optional and beta test firmware. So right after that we click on OK next step that we should do is we'll plug in our control TL unit. In my case I'm installing a Flex TT5 as you can tell. To upgrade the firmware on this unit I click on update, check for updates and you have to be connected to the internet to be able to have these most recent versions available to you. As you can tell, it's already selected the Flex TT5 for me and it has the beta version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download now. So it already knows that I have the Flex TT5 installed. I'm going to click OK. Now it tells me a little warning screen there that it's going to update my unit. It tells me my current version and the version I want to upgrade to. Am I sure I want to do this? I say yes. Now this next step is a two-phase process. The first part is where it's going to apply the programming application to the unit. In other words, it's going to install the firmware. The second step is where it's going to verify the firmware. Make sure that there are no problems with it, that the CRCs are good and everything and then it's going to reboot the unit. After that, you should have everything up and running. You have the option, later on you will see, to save the settings that you may have had previously preset in your unit, or you can do a complete factory default settings reset. So from there, uh, you have the choice of keeping your settings or doing a fresh factory default set. As a general rule, I don't do too many changes to my units, so whenever I do a factory reset, there's not too much that I cannot easily recreate. So it's done the verification. It's going to reboot the unit. And now we can see that the firmware update for it has been successfully completed. Do I want to reload any previous settings? I'll say no. So it now has all the factory defaults set. And we can tell that the application version or the firmware, if you will, is now version 2.146. And that's everything that you need to know how to upgrade your firmware to the latest versions available from Pocket Wizard.